the right time, right moment, and spacing is so concerned, you're going to need that Arlot to also kind of push him into place if you can. So already, first first fight for this turtle. Renzio going to have to get out of there. There Ooh. is the way of the dragon. They secure the turtle. Ooh. Still going to be going. Renzio goes in too. Still looking for the kill for the hunt. Prazer's Wrath going to come down. No Ooh. one falls just yet, but Stone comes in, finds a kill, and off camera with the help of Ben Things, Ninja Killer gets one top side. Um, it all started with that uh, very nice zone at actually from Smart Omega. Oh, Wait, oh! There's a hook. There it is. Miko. Oh. Yeah, he couldn't escape that one. As you were saying, Action pack the uh, play. And again, for uh, Smart Omega and even uh, TNC, they're not ending this team fight. It's all about the pokes. And that's on the hands of their marksman, which is Ninja Killer. If I wanted to lead Goldie against uh, Keller, that is high actually if you're on the laning phase. Right now, the bottom lane, Crab duking it out with Renju, but here comes Ryzen. Yeah, they're gonna go ahead and lock down Cram here with a heavy spin. This should just be an easy kill for them to convert. Right on a burst damage for his team, basically. They really want to uh, secure that kill every time there's uh, mm -hmm. there's a hook, actually. As to why that is also the emblem here for Ben Thinks, and it's, it has been really effective for uh, TNC. Now for Omega, the target is... Oh. Okay, there's a flicker, by the way. All right, he wanted to flicker out of danger, as he did. Hook and land, though. They get it out. Stone's going to be just fine. The way the Kuguro works has that built in. There's going to be the heavy spin. King Kong could be in trouble. Falls here. Stone grabs the kill. Now they're going to set their eyes for the second turtle of the game. Hook not going to be able to secure it there as Ben Thing's attempt. Final Ooh. slash comes out. Renzio grabs a kill for himself. Omega coming out on top. They are able to destroy the turret as the White Stone already has the lightning truncheon. So again, under the turret. Oh. Wow. Ooh, wow. Okay. Stone finding a kill there. You know, I was saying how hard it is going to be for Kagura to find kills in this game. But so far, Stone has had no problem. And not to mention safe right now is TNC. I think it's also a testament to, uh, to Stone. Oh, wait, no, Ryzen finds Ben Things. Gonna be the heavy spin, locking down Ben Things. Immortality already gonna be popped here. Kelra profiting off that kill. And like you said, you know, Omega doesn't have to do too much. If yeah. they can find picks like that, kills, they have a lot of options. Wow. Here's gonna be another one. Way the Dragon sending. Cram back, goes in, Renzio with the final slash, able to pick up the kill. Here's Stone though, Renzio does fall right in front of him, trying to hold on. Tier 1 finally goes down in the mid lane. TNC though, still... They're really confident on how they will really position themselves on every objective that they have. And a good thing that... Uh, wait, wait, there's uh, that okay. hope. Yeah, they're going to go in with a bloody hunt. They still have quite a bit of damage on the side of TNC. So they force Ryzen back as well. Ben Things also half health here. They continue the Lord Dance though. Might be a little bit risky here. The Ooh. hook's gonna land and finds Miko. Goyo grabbing himself a kill. Still going for it. King Kong gonna get final slashed away. Omega still looking to keep TNC here in this Lord Dance. TNC's gotta be really careful how they approach it. Kelro waiting in the backside. Trying to reposition here. Still taking the risk. Goyle also trying to buy time. Ben Things got to be careful. Oh, Doesn't land the hook. He's in trouble here. Renzio now. Can he escape this? There's the feathered airstrike. It comes down. Finds Renzio. Still going to be battling for it. It's oh. Ryzen that secures the Lord. And Ben Things falls. Has like three, four options to initiate, to peel, to pretty much do anything they want. While well, Kelra just has to sit in the back, you know? Yeah. And yeah. here it is. There it is. And Nico with the way of the dragon. Finds Ben Things. Does take quite a bit of damage. Ooh. Immortality, though, finally going to be popped. Ninja Killer already taken out. And Ben Things falls as well. Now Omega making the B. Information as to where the players of TNC are. Yeah. And uh, they're finding for King Kong. Oh. Oh. They're going to know there's the way the dragon. Look at the damage. It's too much. Kelra grabs the kill. And it looked too clean from Smart Omega. And now they get the Lord on top. On finding the perfect spot yes. to use uh, the Feathered Airstrike because we haven't seen a real decent Feathered Airstrike uh, during this game. And uh, it, by far, this is one of the cleanest games of uh, Smart Omega, to be fair, with this uh, 10k uh, goal lead. And I really like that they went in for the prevention oh. for oh. a possible uh, damages here from TNC, having the Wind of Nature and even the Winter Truncheon for Stoke. Yeah, okay. They were gonna try to make a play there, but finally Lord's gonna be taken care of. Actually, Miko goes in. Wow. There's the way the dragon, the burst damage is already there. Renzio still on the chase here. 
Gonna force them back. Three have already fallen for TNC. Omega looking for more. Renzio Ooh. finally getting taken out by Ninja Killer. It's only him and King Kong. Omega might be looking to punch this one in. They've got a yes. couple minions left. They've got the burst damage as well. Ninja Killer got to be careful. There's the Winter Tronchic coming out. Well, Crystal's going to be worked on. They can't stop him. Omega takes game number one. Okay, Omega. Okay, Omega. They, they understood the assignment today. They pressure the right targets at the right time. Well, game one, dominant. Yeah, definitely one of the Omega has played splendidly on that uh, game number one. Imagine it was 17 minutes, uh, not really full of action, but we all know that uh, Smart Omega has this checklist. Yes, uh, Ben Thanks was able to delay the buff of uh, um, uh, Ryzen on the earlier part of the game, but uh, Ryzen uh, focused on the lane of uh, Cram. During that time, the Lancelot again, but it's uh, different if you're up against the MVP of that game. Storm with a Kagura play, 7-0-3 KDA. Remember there was a time that he was at 3-0. Turn his barrier to try and control the mini waves a little bit um, to keep stone, stone a little bit safer under tower. Good call there. And now I think uh, you might see a big explosion oh. <laughs> come the first turtle. Yeah, they might try to lock down. This is similar to what happened in game one. Cram though, gonna get heavy spin into the wall. This is the setup they're looking for. Can't be able to wow. escape, can't escape from that one. No dragon form available. So they already get the first blood. Kalra already it up. It's the same execution, same plays, actually, same target for uh, Smart Omega. Although there's going to be a trade possible at bottom yep. lane. Yeah, there's nothing Kalra can do here to escape this. Three members there. Now they got to watch out for Stone 2. The answer also from Miko. They're just going to hold down the turtle a bit longer. But there you go. Of the team fight, or they really have to force Ninja Kalit to be part of the team fight to go for that gold conversion. So, wow. Wow. Again. Same thing, same uh, setup. Same, same. Yep. Same, same, but different, but still same. <laughs> Omega, well, they're just bullying crap, but here comes King Kong. Oh man, King Kong. Wow, so he thought he had to contest these objectives. Knowing that uh, the other uh, juggling is uh, more of the oh. crowd control, but wait. There's the way the dragon. Miko gonna go ahead and flicker out. Cram on the chase though. Wild charge used as well. TNC now on the board again here, finding a kill against Miko. So actually, um, Renzo was able to clear the minion weight on uh, the top lane. So I believe for TNC right now, they, they just really have to force any objective that they can, they can get oh. against Omega on this game. Oh. oh man, Ben Things. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to escape that. Didn't expect everyone Ooh. even to be there. Still, he's going to fall. They did hold on to the Karam's ultimate for this turtle objective. All right, now they're actually going to go ahead and contest this third turtle here. Black Dragon form being committed by Cram. Ben Thing's also going to be on the hunt here. Finds the way of the dragon on the right target. Renzio does fall, but Ryzen secures another turtle. Three for three for game number two here. Yeah, and even up top, Kelro. Oh, TNC right now, it seems like with how it looks, Omega just looked more prepared for TNC. Ben oh. Thing's finds a kick, though. Ben Thing's going to go in with a flashy play. Find Storm. Big pickup there for now. TNC looking to make a play around it. They might focus on this tier one in the mid lane, but the rest of the members of Smart Omega making their way here. Oh. Gonna keep them from doing that. Ryzen using that heavy spin, gonna push them back. Lord gonna be up oh. now, spawning. And everybody getting in position and play. Stone will be up in just a couple seconds. Yeah. So TNC finding a little bit of hope here, but are they enough? Is it enough to contest this Lord? By the way, take note that uh, Ryzen doesn't have the heavy spin for this Lord objective as to why TNC is on the lead in terms of the positioning. All right, they're going to push it. Ben Thing's going to go ahead and kick Ryzen out of there. Oh. King Kong secures the Lord. Ben Thing's sacrificing there. He does fall, but this is a big play for TNC to get things swinging in their favor. They just got to hold on to the full force of Smart Omega here. Full five, man. They're gonna push them back off the tier one. Grab what they can. TNC not committing anything just to D. They just gotta make sure they control it and don't get split up here. Okay. Because look at Ryzen. That's what he's gonna Ooh! do. Huge wild charge comes through too. The final slash now. Ryzen on the hunt for Ninja Killa. Can't escape as he falls. And it's just a disaster here. TNC still on the run. It's King Kong and Goyo left alive. 
But Omega coming out with a sandwich play. Is not available during that moment as to why we see this uh, positioning of Omega on this Lord objective. Yeah, their action can still contest it, so Ooh. it looks like they want to do that. Ben, things though, going to be a trouble. Look at the damage coming out from Kalua. Stone Gab grabs the kill. They're down one member here. King Kong still looks like he wants to contest it if he can. Ryzen holding the Lord there. I'm going to get a little reset here. Stone in the mid lane, Ooh. though. They press, put the pressure in. Amiko comes in, finds Ninja Killer. And they're still going. Goyo, though, with a nice setup there. Stone waiting patiently. Still going to push them down. Cram in Get trouble getting locked down. Look at Kalra, though, pushing into the base. There's he another has minion all wave. the damage he needs, too. Minions now there. Okay. A good distraction. And they get that mid inhibitor turret as well. TNC still scraping. Nice clearing of minion wave. Minion wave management rather for smart Omega. Even oh. on the position of wait, wait. Okay. Oh, what a set that was. Wow. You know, I don't even think Kalra was expecting... Ben so, uh, ben things has to set up something, or even Cram. That Petrify, Dragon Form Petrify play, they need it now. Yeah. And they get it though as Omega, the threat too strong right now. Oh. TNT, oh, they have so much to handle. All right, they got to deal with this Lord here. It got one hit off, bringing about a fourth off. Oh, that Crystal Cram oh, though. Oh, man. oh man, he was trying to buy some time. Didn't even have to use, didn't get a chance to use the Petrify there. Just still, again, trying to extend this game further, but he's going to be out here for the count. Now Omega could look to end the game. It's only going to take one initiation. Renzio going to take quite a bit of damage. There's the That's wild it. charge coming through. That's the crystal going down as Smart Omega sweeps TNC. A sign of the cross there from Miko. A little bit of a thanks to the grace above because Omega have just put themselves in an E predicted the positioning of their enemy team. It all started with the hero composition. Again, they took our lot for Arensha. By the way, Arensha did this splendidly with the two our lot plays, game number one and uh, game number two. And again, very nice combo. It's as if you have two security guards or two guards. So steam fights as to why our MVP of that game, the gold standard, carry Kelra with 324 KDA. 70% 70, 70 